Good morning. I'm gonna make some breakfast. Today is a new week in my pregnancy. This is my official last week in the second trimester. I'm pretty sure I'm starting my third trimester next week. So by the time you're watching this video, I'll be in my third trimester, which is so crazy. I'm gonna give you all of my pregnancy updates, everything that's been happening because this second trimester has been wild. Thankfully, there's been no throwing up this trimester, but just so much has happened. My body has changed so much. First, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna have some scrambled eggs and Vegemite toast. Got my breakfast. It looks so good. I don't know if this would look good to anyone that like doesn't love Vegemite. And this also might be too much Vegemite. For some Australians, they might be like, that is so much Vegemite. But it just looks so good to me. Filled up my cup of water. You might be able to hear Milo eating in the background. I got his food out maybe like 10 minutes ago and he didn't go over. And this happens all the time. It's like only until I have my food or I guess maybe he can smell my food and then that makes him hungry. He goes over and eats. I thought I'd make a cup of tea, sit down with you guys and then we can have a chat about everything that has happened this trimester. I've been drinking a lot of tea. I mean, not really anything out of the ordinary to be honest. Definitely at least one tea a day. Maybe that's not a lot. Okay, this is the tea I'm gonna have. It is just decaf English breakfast, so no caffeine. English breakfast is definitely my go-to. I've had it ever since I was little. I feel like that's just the go-to tea. It's a good English breakfast. Oh, yes, it was. Did you see Harry Styles at Coachella singing with Shania Twain? I sent a video to my sister because we love her. That would have been so I'm not that big on Coachella. I've, I have gone twice. It's fun to experience, but like I don't think I'll ever go back. If you guys haven't seen it, I'm sure it's on YouTube. I would have loved to be there. While you're doing it in style, whoa, oh. Also, you know what? While I'm here, this is more for like the British people watching my best friend jess she works on the disney cruise ship you've probably heard me talk about her before she's like my favorite person in the whole world on the disney cruise ship there's people that come and work there from all over the world and she said that her british friends would judge her when she was making her tea because because what she would do with her tea bag afterwards is like squeeze it and then put it in the bin and that's something i have always done since i was little but apparently the right way to do it is to just like not squeeze it and just like lift it out like this and then put it in the bin the british people let me know if that's like the correct way to make the tea. I have always, I don't know, in my mind I'm like, oh, it'll get out like extra flavor if I squeeze it. Also, while I'm here, I thought I'd show you my bump day. I've been filming my belly every month as part of this like TikTok that I'm doing. <sighs> it sounds lame. It's actually been really cool to do. I'm really glad I'm doing it. I was so shocked. Okay, we're in April. Yeah, yeah, whoa. We are in April. Just the difference from my bump in March to April has been so crazy. It's so different. This is the bump. I feel like a woman. I just feel like it has, I mean, before even looking at the footage, I was like, my belly has gotten so much bigger just in the last couple weeks, I feel like. I think since last month, she doubled in her weight. So it does make sense that she's like much bigger now, but it's so wild what our bodies can do. My belly button, I'm waiting for it to pop out, but right now it's just like getting like kind of squished and the, I don't know if you guys can see it, the skin, oh, you kind of can see it. The skin around my belly button is kind of like a different color almost. Sorry, we're just all looking at my belly button. It almost feels like that skin is thinner or something, like it's really bizarre but you can kind of see it so if you saw my first trimester video you'll know i kind of i've been writing stuff down as much as i can like every single week i still compiled quite the list before i start all that i'm going to change out my phone case wanted to say thank you to casetify for sponsoring this part of the video i don't know how long i've been working with casetify now but it really is such a cool partnership i really enjoy their cases like i'm a very happy customer of casetify i feel like i've talked about them a lot so i don't want to repeat myself but i'm sure you've seen Seen case to have for their phone case website you can also get airpod cases laptop cases there's like a bunch of different stuff different designs different colors different prints they also give you the option to customize your own case anyway so this is the case that i have at the moment it says have a nice day thanks for being alive their new impact and ultra impact so this is an impact case this is another one i have it is an ultra impact so you can see the difference um up here they're made from 65 percent recycled and plant-based materials also drop test approved i 
wish I was vlogging, but I was walking down the stairs and I literally just dropped my phone. Pretty high as well, I was walking down the stairs. So the drop test approved up to 9.8 feet. So I'm gonna change my case out. These are ones that I've had for a little bit, but I haven't used yet. So this one is one of their really cute print designs. This one is a compostable case, but you can see here, I customized this one by just saying, have a good day, but you can also just like put your name. So I think I'm gonna change over to this one. They are also 100% non-toxic, non-hazardous, and they have a coating that kills 99% of bacteria. So cute, I love this one. As always, I have my link with Case Defy, so I'll leave it down below. You can get 15% off. It's Case .com Definitely go check them out if you're looking for a new phone case. Now I'm gonna get into my second trimester. I did decide to sit on the floor for this and I don't know how long I'll last. Actually, this is pretty okay. My back, which definitely is probably like my main point that I've written down. My back has just gone downhill. Also, if you've watched all of my videos, you've probably like just stopped talking about your back. This was like one thing that I was not expecting was just the amount of back pain that I have. It's all the time and I need like a lot of pillows behind me at a certain angle. Gabe is such a big help and like helps me like adjust my body. I'm gonna tell you my overall second trimester. I kind of like wrote a couple points for kind of overall how I was feeling. Let's just start with nausea. So my first trimester, I had terrible nausea. I had morning sickness. I thought that ended in your first trimester because I think it does for most people. I think I had maybe two weeks where two or three weeks where my nausea stopped and I was just like, wow, this is, I'm going to go up from here. I really felt like a new person until about 16 weeks, I think is when it started. And I'll go into more detail because um, I have like a whole section on body and sickness. It was probably another four or five weeks where I felt sick pretty much every day. I'm like having flashbacks from that time. Okay, overall, these are just like quick points that I wrote down. I felt kind of ugly. That is not every day. It's only, I think, just because my body is changing so much and my hormones are just all over the place. I definitely had quite a few days where I just was not feeling good in myself. I don't know what to wear. This has definitely become more accurate towards the end of my second trimester. As you can see, I'm in a big sweatshirt today and shorts. I haven't bought maternity clothes and I feel like I'm so close now that I don't want to buy maternity clothes. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how I go. I do have quite a lot of like baggy clothes because that's just how I liked to dress before I got pregnant anyway. So it's been really convenient because I have like quite flowy dresses and different baggy shirts and stuff like that that still fit me really well. But for example, with like the flowy dresses, I just feel like from the side, it's not super flattering because my bump is just kind of making it all just like go out. For the most part now, every day I'm like, I just don't know what to wear. And then I just end up in an oversized sweatshirt because that's just like what I feel most comfortable in at the moment. Okay, next one is back eggs so bad, which I kind of touched on. That's probably been the worst part. I, um, it's just really affecting my day to day at the moment. The next thing is I can see my veins a lot. My veins are just much more obvious kind of all over my body. I think like on my belly, I can see some of my veins and kind of just everywhere. I just feel like they've popped a little bit. My belly button is changing shape, which I talked about before. Squatting everywhere to bend down. One, my belly is getting bigger. So moving around is getting a little bit more difficult, but because of my back, just bending over and like picking stuff up really hurts. I'm squatting everywhere. If I drop something or if I'm picking up Milo's toy, emptying the dishwasher, I'm fully squatting and it's kind of funny. And then the last one I wrote was sneezed and peed a few times, lol. Again, I feel like if you keep up with us on social media, you definitely would have heard at least one story of me not having control of my bladder, which is funny because that's that was one of the first signs before I found out I was pregnant. And it's happened, I think, three or four times in the second trimester. So definitely not that much. Like it's not like an issue. It, pee can just come out so easily. Easily. Sometimes have been worse than others. There is one time that we already vlogged about where I was in the kitchen and I just sneezed like a normal sneeze. Not just a little like drop came out. It was like full pee came out. What I'll add to this actually is my pregnancy pillow. Okay. I mentioned this in a couple vlogs ago that I was really struggling with my pregnancy pillow. The first couple times I had tried it, it just wasn't working well for me. I was getting hot. It was very uncomfortable. I just felt like I couldn't get in the right position. And then I don't know, something clicked. Maybe 
maybe it was because my my back pain got so bad i figured out my pregnancy pillow i've been using it every single night and it has definitely helped so if anyone is struggling with a pregnancy pillow i love going to bed in pajamas like i love pajamas but i found that i would get sweaty like i would get so hot because i think because of the fabric of the pregnancy pillow and you're just kind of like engulfed in fabric so now i basically just go to bed in like a bralette and underwear for the most part it has been like i've kind of figured out a comfortable position still not the best like my sleep oh that's another thing i can add is my sleep for the most part i wake up a couple times in the night that's the only thing is that every time i move because i i'm a side sleeper so as i'm turning to the other side it takes me a second to like get readjusted so i do wake up for that thankfully i'm not getting up to pee or anything but other than that the pregnancy pillow has definitely been going well for me okay the next thing is movements and kicks which is definitely the most exciting thing to talk about definitely has been uh my favorite part of pregnancy at 16 weeks i said i think i feel tiny little movements very light i remember what they first started to feel like and i was like i don't think this is like a gas bubble or you know i don't think this is anything else in my body like i think this is her moving around and kicking at 17 weeks I said I felt four baby moves one night watching a movie. Gabe can't feel on my tummy yet. Then 18 weeks, I said so many little baby kicks. They were still small, especially to ha compared to how they are now. I can't imagine in uh, like another month or two how they're going to feel. Then at 20 weeks, very special, I said I saw a kick on the outside. Seeing lots of movement on the outside now and Gabe saw and felt his first kick. So this all happened at 20 weeks, which was my halfway point. I think it was actually the day that I turned 20 weeks I saw a kick on the outside makes me feel a lot more connected to her than I was before I could feel her kick especially now she's getting so much bigger it just makes me want to have her on my chest already and like have her here in saying that though some of them are very uncomfortable oh my gosh I need to add a day or two or three ago I felt hiccups for the first time it felt like a really constant twitch okay let's move on to mental health so at 17 weeks Gabe had to go on a little trip for I think it was five days I dropped Gabe off at the airport I was just talking to my friend about this today I think because of my hormones probably and since it was the first time we were leaving each other while I was pregnant I was really emotional about it and the whole time he was away it was like it felt different than usual anyway I basically just said emotional I cried dropping Gabe off to the airport which I don't usually do his trips are usually short enough where like obviously I miss him as soon as he leaves but I don't cry saying goodbye to him. At 18 weeks, I said anxious, sensitive, and feeling down. I had a full mental health day because I couldn't bring myself to do anything. I don't fully remember this day, but I'm going to say all of these things are hormones. I always leave my tea when it's first made it's too hot so i leave it a little bit but then i leave it too long and then i said recently because i feel like this has been a couple days sprinkled in just over the last couple weeks don't know what to wear emotional can tell hormones are crazy other than wearing like really tight dresses that are really flattering to the bump sometimes i just put clothes on and i'm like nothing looks flattering on me but that's only some days and then like other days i'm totally fine but for the most part i've been really good there's so much going on in our life right now that i think i'm just very distracted by like needing to get everything done by a certain time this is kind of a full body section and i'll also touch on sickness so 16 weeks is when my sickness started i thought it was just bad digestion because my nausea felt different from my first trimester nausea so i thought it must have just been bad digestion and i was getting like tummy aches and stuff after I ate. Every day I felt sick. 16 weeks I had round ligament pain. 17 weeks the sickness continued but I also said I was really tired and itchy. I would sit down and I'd get really itchy and I don't know so random. 18 weeks I feel squished and uncomfy near my sternum. Sitting on the couch at night watching TV I have two pillows behind my back so I'm at an angle to stretch myself out. Bad bloating is so common now I get so much bigger and feel like I could burst. Very tight and uncomfortable and also itchy. When, when I'd be like sitting in the car like sitting up in the car this would just feel very squished and very uncomfortable so i'd have to like sit like this and i'd still do this quite often 19 weeks itchy restless sleep waking up to pee hot etc 20 weeks i had one morning feeling really dizzy oh my gosh this was so strange and so random i guess i was just dehydrated but i got really dizzy hot my vision was getting fuzzy and black i had to sit on the bathroom floor drinking an electrolyte drink as soon as i started to drink and hydrate i felt 
a lot better. Then I said, I think my first Braxton Hicks in bed, so uncomfy and tight. From what other people have told me, Braxton Hicks don't feel like uncomfortable, but just really tight. And this, it was very uncomfortable and kind of painful. I forgot to add this in for my overall, but it hurts sometimes when I pee. I went to my midwife and I asked her about it and she said that sometimes when you pee, your uterus will contract. And so I think that's what happens. The other night, just recently on Sunday, was the worst one. I was sitting on the toilet. Sorry, it was not fun. 21 weeks, almost leg cramps, but when I move, they stop. Mostly at night when I'm sleeping or when I wake up. So I think this is pretty common to get a lot of leg cramps in the second trimester. I haven't had a full leg cramp yet. I've just had like the start of one. 24 weeks, I wrote lightning crotch and Braxton Hicks. And then 26 weeks is swollen fingers. This was last week. I don't have my rings on today, but Gabe and I were cleaning the house. We were like vacuuming, like doing a proper clean of the house. And then once I was done, I tried to put my wedding rings on and they wouldn't fit and my fingers were so swollen and then I have a random category at 23 weeks I had pregnancy brain I do have pregnancy brain definitely probably every day this one in particular I was at our sink with Gabe and we were both washing our hands and I was wearing a little tank top picture this we're at the sink I'm about to get some hand soap and I go what my brain thought I was doing was doing this. Almost like I had, you know, long sleeves on. Gabe and I looked at each other and I was like, what did I just do? Anyway, that's the end of my list. It has been a wild second trimester. I can't believe I am going into my third trimester. In my first trimester video, I said that like I wasn't loving it. The reason I was going through it all, I'm very grateful for and like so excited and love it. But pregnancy itself and all the things that come along with it, I wasn't fully loving it. I still feel that way in the second trimester. Trimester. I just have friends who love pregnancy and love being pregnant. I'm very excited to like give birth and just have her and for my body to feel a little bit more like me and a, a little bit more like normal. I'm very slow. Like if we go on walks now, like Gabe knows he has to slow down. Like I walk very slow. Everything has just changed my whole body. I, I'm just like so excited to meet her and I just talk about it every day. I really talk about it too much with Gabe, but I really am. Oh my gosh, I didn't drink much of my tea. We decided to go pick up dinner at this place called Fresh Kitchen. The best. There's a couple locations. I think majority of them are in Florida. It's they're, so good. Their bowls are dead stupid. I'm just gonna try and shake it. I love it. Oh, this is yours. All right, well thank you for mixing mine for me. Appreciate it. We both got sweet potato noodles and they're so good. I don't understand how they make- Doesn't make sense, but it's, it's a party like, in my mouth. It's not like, you know, grated sweet potato. It's like a full noodle. Yeah. Like a noodly doodly. And then they also had these uh chocolate chip cookies that have really good ingredients. But we haven't tried yet, so no. That's not our official review. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for hanging with me today and Hopefully you enjoyed listening to my second trimester recap. Let me know if you'll want a third trimester one as well. It's so crazy how quickly it's all coming to an end. How quickly we will have her in our arms. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.